Today, I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute upper body and abs dumbbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me. I'm gonna be using two pairs of dumbbells and one exercise mat. For the first section, we're gonna do six exercises, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds. I'm gonna be using a 20 kilo pair, that's 44 pounds each. For the second section, I'm gonna go a bit lighter using a 10 kilo pair, that's about 22 pounds per dumbbell, the same format. There's a warm up link in the description below, and if you're ready, let's get started with that workout. So grab your heavier pair of dumbbells, and we're gonna start off with a push press. So a push press is a shoulder press, but you can go a little bit heavier because we're gonna allow that little leg drive to start each lift. We're doing 30 seconds on, 20 second transition between exercises. So use the legs to start the dumbbell drive off. Lock out nice and tall at the top. Make sure you're not over arching your lower back. You shouldn't be leaning back too much either. Always finish your rep off. Don't worry too much about the timer on these. Just finish that rep and you can stop uh, after the beep if needed. Okay, we've got a Romanian deadlift into a bent over row and we're gonna do these in sets of three. So down, one, two, three. Stand up for a second and then straight back into it. One, two, three just to give that lower back a rest in between reps. Let's get three more in. Great job. Now we're moving on to an ab exercise. We're gonna do some alternating V-ups. So you're going to lie on your back, you're going to start, hands above your head, arms are going to come up every time, and you're going to alternate legs. If you're struggling to come all the way up onto your tailbone like this, you can just do a smaller crunch variation where your lower back stays on the floor. Now we're staying on the floor now because we've got a floor press. If you've got a bench, feel free to just do a regular bench press. I'm going to be using quite a narrow grip. So I'm keeping my hands almost in a neutral position. Elbows are coming in quite close to my sides. But if you're struggling, it'll be easier to have the elbows a little bit wider and use more of an overhand grip. We've got a back exercise now for the lats. I'm gonna do a dumbbell pullover. So you're just gonna need one of these Again, if you've got a bench, this will work well on a bench, but I'm going to show you on the floor. So you're going to reach the dumbbell overhead. So you want to keep a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole lift. Almost straight arms, but put that slight bend in. If you've got a bench, this will work really well on a bench because you can drop a little bit deeper or you could prop your back up with some cushions to give you that extra range. Finish that rep off and we're done. Okay, staying on the mat. Last one, we've got another ab exercise. We're gonna do 
a controlled bicycle crunch. So you want your legs almost straight, hands on the temples, you're gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbow. Get that big oblique twist in. Great job, there's one round done. We've got two to go in this first section. We've got a 30 second rest now. So we're gonna start back with those push presses. Whoa. Feeling heavy. Onto the Romanian deadlift to row. Remember we're doing free rep bursts. Try and minimize the body movement, keeping it nice and solid when you're doing those rows. Just taking these breaks to release the lower back. Should allow you to go a little heavier. Okay, on to the ab exercise. You'll notice that we're generally doing a push, pull, abs, superset combo. We've got those alternating V-ups. Staying on the floor, we've got that floor press. This will hit your chest, front of your shoulders, and your triceps. If you want to hit your chest more, go for a slightly wider grip. If you want to hit your triceps more, keep the elbows tucked in. I'm actually keeping my elbows tucked in because it brings my floor press weight closer to my push press weight. Because if I was doing a wider grip floor press, I'd probably use a much heavier weight than I would for my push press. I'm gonna take one. Remember, if you've got a bench, you can use a bench for this. I'm gonna do a dumbbell pull over. Get those lats stretching overhead. Draw the dumbbell back over your chest. Try and keep that nice wide elbow angle.
And then onto the ab exercise, we're doing that controlled bicycle crunch. So you want a nice big twist. I like to put one elbow touching the floor while the other one touches the knee, but just rotate as much as you can. Even when you're in this open position, there shouldn't be any gap appearing in your lower back. You should still be braced. So we're not going from an overarch to a crunch. We're going from a brace into even more of a crunch. Oh, great job. There's two done. Just one round to go. And then we've got six new exercises with the lighter dumbbells. That push press coming up. Feeling heavy. Let's get one more. Oh, definitely pushing it on that for me. Got those free rep burst Romanian deadlift into bent over rows. Giving that lower back release at the top every three reps. Alternating V-ups for that ab exercise. Remember, if you're struggling to come all the way up onto your tailbone, you can always just do this more crunch style V-up. Grabbing one of your dumbbells, one of those pullovers. Like I said, if you want more range of motion, use a bench or prop your upper back up with some pillows. Onto the floor press now.
And finally, we've got these controlled bicycle crunches. Ooh. Great job, about 45 seconds off now. I'm gonna swap down to my lighter pair. I'm gonna be using 10 kilos per dumbbell. That's 22 pounds per dumbbell. If you're enjoying this, but you want a more structured sets, reps plan, check out the link in the description, this video to my uh, dumbbell plan ebook. It's a 12 week plan with sets, reps, video demos, and everything you need for a great program. We're gonna start off with some alternating front raises in this next section. So I'm gonna just unlock my knees, brace my core, alternating sides. Minimize that body movement. I'm trying to make them as strict as possible without swinging your hips. Okay, we've got a tricep exercise next. You're gonna lie on your back on the mat. We're gonna do a skull crusher, also known as a tricep extension. So we wanna fix the angle of the upper arm, the position of the upper arm, hinge at the elbow and then extend. So the dumbbells are gonna drop either side of your ears. You're just gonna extend the elbows, straighten the arms, tense the triceps at the top, and try and minimize the movement of the upper part of your arm between your shoulder and your elbow. Next up, back to an ab exercise. We're gonna do a hollow hold. I'll give you a few options. You can either do the full hollow, you can do one knee in, or you can do one knee in and both arms in. So here's the full hollow. Lower back should be staying nice and flat to the floor. If you're struggling, Bring one knee in like this, but again, your lower back should not be arching off the floor. And if you're still struggling, bring your hands in, reaching past your pockets, and it'll be a little bit easier, but you still get good ab tension. Good work, we're gonna do a bicep exercise now. So onto your feet. Generally, your skull crusher weight will be slightly less than your bicep curl weight. So we're gonna make the curls harder by adding an extra half at the top. So we're gonna come all the way up, come halfway down, back to the top, all the way down. So we're increasing the time under tension by adding an extra half to the top of the movement. That'll minimize the time you're resting in that straight arm position by your sides. Again, so we can use a similar weight, we're gonna do a shoulder press, but we're only gonna do three quarters of the range. So we're gonna maximize the time under tension. So if you bring your dumbbells up, I want you to hover them around level with your ears. I want you to come 80% up, but don't lock out. 
and then slowly lower to level with your ears. 80% up, and we're just gonna work within this three quarter range, getting the shoulders burning. So we're not locking out at the top and we're doing that intentionally to make it a little bit harder. Let's get one more rep in there. Oh, and there you go, we've got the shoulders burning by the end of this set. So we're intentionally on that one, not resting at the bottom, we're not resting at the top. We're just picking that mid range. Okay, we've got reverse crunch next. Hands by your side, roll the knees to your chest. If you wanna make it harder, Keep your heels next to your glutes the whole time. If you want to make it easier, just try extending your legs. But whatever angle you've picked, make sure your knee angle is staying consistent throughout. You can have your head on or off the floor. It's whatever you prefer. Okay, there's one round done. We've got three rounds of this section. So we're back to those alternating front raise. Remember, we're minimizing the torso movement, maximizing the work of the shoulders. onto the floor. We've got those skull crusher tricep extensions. So you're gonna fix the upper portion of your arm still. Just hinge at the elbow. Onto a hollow hold now. So remember, you can do full hollow, one knee in or one knee and arm in, and just do whatever you feel the most ab engagement for. So I'm gonna pick this one. Well, I've got one knee in, arms out, head and upper traps just off the mat. So you've got that nice engaged ab position. Your lower back should be compressed nice and flat into the floor. And as you can tell, if you've got high ab tension, it's kind of hard to talk and breathe. Good work. We've got the one and a half bicep curls now. Adding that extra half rep at the top. Squeeze the biceps halfway down, back up, back to neutral at the sides. Again, I'm bracing my core. It's just basically all the muscles surrounding your torso. I'm trying to minimize any cheat of the rocking of the body. three quarter shoulder press. So you're not gonna come to rest on your shoulders. 
you're gonna come almost to the top, but you're just gonna avoid that rest in the lockout position. I'm almost up, but not quite, and I'm not resting at the bottom. Get your shoulders to burn with this relatively lightweight for a shoulder press. I can definitely feel mine working. Oh. Reverse crunch next. Remember, if you want to make it harder, just tuck your heels down, keep them down there. If you want to make it easier, just have a slightly more open knee angle, but whatever you've picked, keep it the same throughout. Whether you want your head on or off the floor, I think is more down to personal preference. I actually find that head off the floor, I can keep my abs engaged. But if your neck's aching, head on the floor like this can be a little easier. Okay, two down. Stay with me, we're almost there. We've just got one to go. One round to go, that is not exercise. I'm gonna start back with those alternating front raises. If you're enjoying these workouts, you like the 30 minute time length of them, check out my seven day dumbbell series on YouTube also, it's free. I'll link it at the end of this video. And then there's that 12 week dumbbell plan, which is different, that's an ebook, which I'll link in the description of this video. Oh, got those skull crusher tricep extensions. Onto that hollow hold next. If you started off with the tough one, but you want to transition as you get tired. Remember, you've also got this option of hands down by your pockets. Oh. Onto your feet. We've got three exercises. Got bicep curl, one and a half, three quarter shoulder press and the reverse crunch. Oh. Got that 
three quarter overhead press. So we'll come in just off the shoulders, level with the ears, with the handles of the dumbbells. We're into about 80% of the way up. And just repping out within that range. Definitely getting harder with these. Final one, we're onto that reverse crunch now. So you should be rolling your tailbone off the mat, drawing the knees up towards your chest. And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me for that. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you doing the workout from? I really do like to hear that. As I said before, here's my seven day free YouTube dumbbell series. If you fancy joining me for a quick cool down stretch, uh, I'll link one here. Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe. Check out my ebook in the description below. See you again soon for another workout.